How do you delete or deactivate an account on the chart of accounts uh, in new QuickBooks Online? So I'm on home screen here. Uh, I'm using Google Chrome browser and we want to delete account on chart of accounts. So first you need to go to chart of accounts. So you know what, if you want to go to chart of accounts, so you just click the uh, company gear here, upper corner. So this is your company gear. So click this one and chart of accounts is right here. So click chart of accounts. So here's your chart of accounts. And let's say you just want to delete uh, an account here. Let's just say delete this one. This one has balance. See what happens. Just highlight account here, this right here. Highlight it and say delete. As you can see here, it will give you a red message here. It will, it will read this account has non-zero balance. Deleting this account will cause an exhausting transaction to be created. Is this okay? So the message here is if you have balance, you don't want to delete that account. If you if you want to delete that account, QuickBooks Online will adjust that balance to somewhere else. So in general practice, you don't want to delete any account that has transactions or balance. So let's look at another account here. This one has no balance. Let's try this one. So this is highlight account. No, don't double click it. If you double click it, it'll go to account screen here. So just highlight it. You will see a little highlight in here. Just highlight it, single click, and then click delete in here. Let's click delete. So we have selected this account to delete. It will say uncategorized asset. So right here, highlight it and delete so at this time you get a message saying are you sure you want to delete this let's say yes let's say we want to delete this account yes so this one is error because this one is part of the banking feature transaction you can't delete the account but this is a default account for banking feature so you don't want to delete this account you can't even delete that account let's see check another account here Let's try this one here. It says other long-term assets, other assets, no balance, zero balance here. So let's highlight it and delete. It says, it says, are you sure you want to delete this? I say yes. Okay, so that one took it. Now it's gone. Let's delete another one. Let's say this credit card account. This credit card, Chase credit card, there's no balance. Just highlight it and delete. Are you sure you want to delete this? Say yes or no. Let's say yes. So that one took it. That one's gone now. Okay. So in QuickBooks, although they say it's delete, it's not actual delete. You can still get it back. You just made this inactive. So if you want to get this inactive account, all you have to do is just click include inactive here. As you can see, the moment you click in include inactive, you will see those two accounts we just deleted in here, right here, this one. It says other long-term assets deleted and other one from the uh, balance sheet liability account. It's the, uh, right here, Chase Credit and fix and Assets account which is which is right here right here this one so this one and and right here this one these two let's say for some reason you want to undelete or make this one active again so all you have to do is double click it this is the wrong account, we select it. So double click, it says delete it here. Just double click it here, and here's the inactive one. Just 
uncheck this box. See, here's the, this is the one we just deleted. Inactive box. Just unclick this one and save it. So this account is active again. Let's try other one. Here's the uh, other account we deleted. It says delete it. Double click it. it. Says right here it's inactive. So uncheck and save. So that's it. So you can delete any uh, accounts you don't need. But actually, in QuickBooks, it won't actually delete. It'll just make it inactive. And coming, just, just select this, in, include in, inactive, and then you will see it. And uh, and then make it active, and it's done. So uncheck this one, and we're all done now. So that's how you delete or make account, deactivate account on the chart of accounts. So that's about it and uh, if you have any questions just visit our website it's newqbo.com it's newqbo.com and you will see all uh, resources you need for uh, QuickBooks Online. Thank you.